Hey Knitters, it's Wednesday. So I'm going to start by talking about the theme because I have a lot to say about it and I hope that I'm not too long-winded, so let's get started. Okay, the theme this week is to share things that you do to stay positive or like encourage positive thinking. So the first thing I want to share with you is a website called FragrantHeart.com and I'll put links in the doobly-doo. And this is a website that has a collection of free guided meditations um, and they range topics from just like basic relaxation to dealing with anger or quitting smoking or you know all sorts of different stuff and um, some of them are more difficult and more advanced but they do have some really good um, beginner meditations. I recommend this website because I think a lot of people get a little intimidated by meditation because the idea of like sitting in silence alone for 10 minutes or any amount of time it's kind of daunting but this gives you a direction and something to focus on. It gives you techniques to use and I find myself using the things that I've heard in the guided meditations on my own time when I'm feeling stressed or if I need you know some me time or whatever it is um, and one of the things that I've learned um, on using their meditations is something that I want to talk about because I think it's probably helped me more than more than anything is something I'm just going to call accept and allow and basically this means when you experience a negative emotion it's important for you to accept that you're feeling that way and allow yourself to feel it because I think a lot of people their first instinct when they have you know a negative emotion is to ignore it or to stop it or to change it and sometimes you just need to acknowledge that you're feeling that way before you can move on so just I feel anxious so I'm going to accept that I feel anxious because it's okay to have negative emotions and then I'm going to allow myself to feel anxious for you know however long I need to feel anxious and usually when when you get to the allow part the emotion goes away because you're you're acknowledging that you feel that way and you're saying it's okay to be anxious or angry or whatever it is and then you relax because you're like it's okay now and I can make the steps to change it or whatever so don't beat yourself up if you're feeling angry or stressed or sad or whatever it's perfectly normal and human to feel negative emotions so just accept them and allow them to happen. Another thing that's kind of similar to meditations um, it's called mantras or affirmations and these are just positive statements that you can say to yourself to you know um, on a variety of topics, sometimes you use it for goal setting or relaxation or whatever it could be. Um, but it's important that you pick something that's meaningful for you and that you keep it somewhere relevant. So if it's just like saying it to yourself in the mirror or it could be putting it on sticky notes and putting those sticky notes all over your house so it reminds you of that. And even if you don't necessarily really believe it, sometimes you just got to fake it till you make it, you have to say it until you believe it. Um, so it can be something that you make up, it can be something you find you know, online, or it could even be like a quote, something that's meaningful for you. Um, so one of the things that I, that has helped me before, um, when I feel like stressed or trapped or feel like I'm not going to reach a goal, is the mantra is this, the things I want in life are obtainable and I deserve them. Um, so that you just say that the things I want in life are obtainable and I deserve them over and over again until you believe it until you feel like okay yes I can do this and move on to the next thing and it kind of gets you past that moment of stress I do think it's very easy to get bogged down in negative feelings and it is hard it does take work to think positively and these are the things that have helped me do that and I'm not perfect and sometimes you just have to like wallow and be a grumpy grump and sometimes these things help so I hope they help you when I was editing I realized that I didn't talk about knitting and crocheting here's my crocheting I finished this mother bear and I started this bear it's another bear and stuff and I bought this book on line for 75 cents I'm gonna read it and um, I wanted to talk more about Game of Thrones and stuff but I um, talked for a long time about the theme so I hope everyone is having an awesome week and stuff and I will see Mira tomorrow bye